How the Chinese man went on ships? Yeah. Oh no, they haven't. Right, they haven't. Right, oh, haven't. I'm about to say. Yeah. <laughs> Has the Caucasian man went on ships? No. Has the Arab man went on ships? No. We're the only people that suffer in the curses. All right. Read verse 46 again. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. So they are upon us forever, Denzel. Right. I, I want to ask you a question. What are some of the things, because today is what? Sabbath. All praises. What are some of the things that we are supposed to do on a Sabbath, or not supposed to do? You said no, you're not. We're not supposed to eat. What type of foods? Warm. All prisons. All prisons. Let's get that. Let's let's get the Sabbath and let us know that. Oh, and let me ask you another question. When does the Sabbath day start? Sundown to right now. All prisons. Read that. Exodus twenty and eight. Exodus twenty and verse eight. Read that. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. So the seventh day is the Sabbath. Let's get Exodus chapter 35 verse uh, 1, I believe. 4. Okay. 35 verse 3. The book of Exodus chapter 35 and verse 3. Ye shall kindle no fire throughout your habitations. So on the Sabbath day, Denzel, you cannot cook on the Sabbath. Right. Exodus 16 and 23. This is how you prepare your food on the Sabbath day. Because right. it could be warm, but you when it goes cold, you can't cook it before the Sabbath. So let's clear that up for you really quick. Read that. The book of Exodus, chapter 16, verse 23. And he said unto them, This is that which the Lord has said. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath. So he would speak, he would be speaking to them in uh, today's terms on Friday. Right. Read. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath. So when the sun goes down tonight, right. read. Unto the Lord. Bake that which you will bake today. So you can prep. If you on Friday before sundown, you can bake, you can cook, fry, boil before uh, Friday sundown. To you know to have warm food. Read and see that ye will see. Seed means to boil. Boil what you want to boil. Read and that which remaineth over and you were you lay your food up on the counter you can put it in the up uh, the oven um what's it called the uh, oven pantry but not with the stove on right you lay it over you lay it up wrap it up in aluminum foil right put it in a sandwich bag right read and that which remaineth over lay up for you to be kept until the morning that way the stuff you boil the stuff you prep cook you can lay up that for you for tomorrow right. on the Sabbath day so you can eat. Right. That's All right? Read, uh, that's it on that? Let's go to Nehemiah. You got it. I'll pray. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 10 and verse 31. Bring it out. And if the people of the land bring wear or any victuals on the Sabbath day. So on the Sabbath day, if the people bring wear clothes and victuals like merchandise food drinks read that we would not buy it of them on the sabbath we won't do what we will not buy it of them on the sabbath our forefathers were very strict on god's laws right. well at least nehemiah was some of our forefathers were very strict on god's laws we will not buy it on on the sabbath day right that's a commandment of god the real simple commandment. Let me ask you a question. Do you know any of the high holy days in the Bible? Uh, Passover. 
When is, when is the Passover? That's somewhere I'm not familiar with the dates, but I know about the Passover, uh, Day of Atonement. I don't know when that is. Um, I'm, I'm getting familiar with the High Holy Day, but I'm not familiar with it. All praises. Let's, let's introduce you to some of the High Holy Day. Because this is our heritage. And it's the only thing we have. And there's some ordinances that we must follow. Right. All right. Read that. Leviticus 23. The book of Leviticus, chapter 23 and verse 1. Read it out. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, Concerning the feast of the Lord. So the book of Leviticus 23 it's talking about our high holy days, our right. feast days. Right. Read. Which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocation. Holy convocation mean on these days we have to gather ourselves together. Right. Right. Read. Even these are my feasts. Six days shall work be done. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest. So he, lay, he, he let you know that Sabbath come before all of them. Right. The Sabbath, nothing overrides the Sabbath day. Read. And holy convocation, ye shall do no work therein. So it's a holy convocation, gathering yourselves together. Right. You can't watch a home from a computer screen. You can't do this by yourself. Right. You have to gather together. Right. And you can't work. Read on. It is the Sabbath of the Lord in all your dwellings. These are the feasts of the Lord, even holy convocations, which ye, ye shall proclaim in their seasons. In the 14th day of the first month. On the 14th day in the first month, is which in the first when that first month comes, that's our new year in spring. Right. Read. At even. At even sundown, because that's when when is what does even mean in the Bible when it says at even? Yeah, what is that the beginning of? That's the beginning of the day. All praises. At even is the Lord's Passover. And on the 15th day of the same month is the feast of unleavened bread into the Lord. So Passover on the uh, 14th day sundown, that would begin Passover and right. also the feast of unleavened bread, right. which is the same thing. Right. Read. Seven days ye must eat unleavened bread. So seven days we must eat unleavened bread. That means you can't eat leavened bread those seven days. You understand? On the first day we all must come together. Read. Ye shall do no servile work. No, no work. But ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord seven days. Right. And the seventh day is a holy convocation. You so on the first day and on this last day, on the seventh day, uh, finishing out Passover, you have to gather yourselves to get together. Right. Assemble. Holy convocation. Verse 12. Teach. Verse 12. Teach. Verse 12. <laughs> and you shall offer that day when ye weave a sheaf of he lamb without blemish of the first year for a burnt offering unto the Lord. And you shall eat neither bread, nor parched corn, nor green ears, until the self same day that ye have brought an offering unto your God. It shall be a statue forever throughout your generation. So the Passover is a statue throughout our generation. When we, when we come back to who we are, and remember, we'll read the Bible and realize that, oh, we still got to keep the Passover. This is a high holy day that we must keep. You got any questions so far? Um, uh, uh, All praises, uh, Exodus 12. Exodus 12. What do you know so far about the new moon? Right, right. They they switched it up and we fell for it, but we're coming back to our heritage. Right. We're coming back to the knowledge of God. Right. Actually, um, let's start at Genesis. Hold that. Hold that. 
Go to Genesis 1 and 16. Genesis 1 and 16. This is this is uh, what a lot of our people didn't realize that when God made the moon, it was the new moon. Let's see what it looked like. Read. The book of Genesis, chapter 1 and verse 16. And God made two great light. He made two what? Great light. So they were lights. Can you see lights? You can see lights. Oh, praise yeah, The greater light to rule the day. What, what is that greater light? All right, all praise. And the lesser light to rule the night. The lesser light. What, what light is that? So when God made that moon, what was what would it have been called? All praises. Exodus 12, verse 1. The book of Exodus, chapter 12 and verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. So when it says, when he said this month, what was he showing him? Can you see a month? He was showing him the moon. But he can't see a month. He had to, he had to point. Hey, this moon... Because month comes from moon. Right. This moon would be the what? Shall be until you. The beginning. The what? The beginning. The beginning, the new of months. The, the new moon, when it's bright and, and full, that is the beginning of our months. Give me that in Sirach chapter 43. Right. Sirach chapter 43. Because the new moon is coming next, is, uh, next week. Yeah. It's all praises, brother. You're going to be learning about your uh, your heritage. Right. This is a good thing. Read. The book of Sirach, Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha, chapter 43 and verse 6. He made the moon also to serve in her season for a declaration of time and a sign of the world. Can you see a sign? Yeah. Read it again. He made the moon also to serve in her season for a declaration of times and a sign and a sign read, of the world. So you can see the moon. We keep reading. From the moon is the sign of feast. So the moon, when you see the full moon, the new moon, it's a feast day. Right. Read. A light. A what? A light. No, it's all dark. A light. It's a light. Don't let no one fool you. The Bible says this. Right. It's a light. You got to see a light. <laughs> a light that decreases in her perfection. So then it once the new moon, it decreases. It goes into her cycle. The, uh, 28 or 30 days comes back around. A brand new moon. A full moon. Read the, uh, so there's some statutes in the new moon that we must follow as well. Amos 8 and 5. Amos chapter 8, verse 5. Right. And then we're going to get a new teacher. All praises, brother. God, God sent you here for, the, for a reason. God sent you here for a reason. Right. Read that. The book of Amos... Chapter 8 and verse 5. Saying, when will the new moon be gone? When will the what? When will the new moon be gone? That we may sell corn. Because they're asking, when is the new moon over? So then we can sell. Because they can't buy or sell on the new moon. They're asking, when is it going to be over? You can. It's a feast day. You can cook. Read. That we may sell corn and the Sabbath, that we may set forth wheat. Because it's also a Sabbath day as well. You can't work and you can't, um, you can't work, but you can cook on the new moon. Okay? But, and you cannot buy and sell.
I'm a Jew with sound art For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't singing that no more, it's sound man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram. Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.